Hey gang, it's a beautiful sunny day out here in northern Minnesota and I'm just uh, in bear camp and practicing a little bit with my bow and I've just been thinking about some of the reasons why I really like this new Schaefer XV rest. And if you are a follower of this channel or have watched many of my other videos, you know that the Schaefer XV rest is something that I switched to last year and so this is the second year that I'm using it and I'm sorry I'm kind of backlit and all that I'm just doing kind of a quick and dirty video here without setting up lights and and a wireless mic and all that because I just wanted to mention these three things that are really have become important to me and as you probably know the Schaefer uh, DT sites and the XV rest they sort of have this cult following well I have become one of the cult followers because I just we have really fell in love with this stuff. I want to give you three reasons here, three situations where I feel like this rest, I'm not going to talk much about the site today, I'm going to do a different video on that, but this rest is the best tool for the job. And I am bet you that there are situations that you faced as well. So the first one is hunting from a ground blind. If you've ever hunted from a ground blind, you know that it's cramped quarters, and I don't know about you, but I have stuck my broadhead through the edge of a ground blind a couple of times and it's just it's hard to get your bow to stay in position but a lot of times things happen really fast from a ground blind and all of a sudden here comes uh, whatever you're hunting for deer bear antelope uh, elk whatever and uh, you just don't have time to pull an arrow out of the quiver and put it on the rest so that's the advantage of this rest that has a full containment and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about here because it's it's absolutely critical okay now watch how this works it's just really really slick alright so you just pull back on this cable here push in that button and your arrow is 100% secure so you can put your bow you can hang it from the ceiling in a ground blind you can put it on a stand or whatever but it's 100 percent secure so when you pick it up you don't have to release this it releases when you draw that's the cool part about it you could shoot it either way okay the second situation that i found where this is really helpful these are really helpful in a tree stand too and you wouldn't think until you actually have some of these things happen to you but in a tree stand, some, I've had the arrow blow off my rest before and on a really windy day. There's also times when I have seen a buck coming or whatever and I reach for my bow and the arrow hits a twig or something like that that I didn't know that was in the way or I just got distracted or whatever. Knocks the arrow off my rest. And I guarantee you it's going to be on the buck of a lifetime if this happens to you. And it, it's happened to me a couple times, and that's why I actually put this thing in position and do the full containment on the arrow, even in a tree stand. And the third situation is any time that you're hunting from the ground on your feet. And that can be any kind of spot and stalk or whatever. You know, I've hunted whitetails uh, where I spot them out on the terraces or fence rows in farm country and sneak up on them. Um, Antelope is a good example. Your elk, you're calling elk, you're moving around. Things can, here comes an elk, it could be happen fast. In about three weeks, I'm going on a moose hunt in Maine, and it's a hunt where mostly what we're doing is calling. And when a moose comes, you might be in pretty thick cover and so forth, and you gotta move and you gotta, you gotta shift angles really quickly to get that broadside shot that you want, or you gotta get in a little bit of cover so you can have cover for drawing your bow and so forth it's another perfect example of why having that arrow in a full containment system is such a huge advantage so uh, there really isn't any other rest like this it's the Schaefer XV and I would really highly recommend that you go to their website and check it out watch some more videos on it you re if you're buying a bow that you really ought to consider asking for this at your pro shop and if your pro shop doesn't have it I'd ask them why not because it's uh, it's the perfect tool for probably the way you hunt as it is for mine I'll leave a uh, a link in the description below to the website where you can look at this uh, Schaefer 
XB sight and rest and you don't see their ads on outdoor TV and you don't see big full color ads in magazines for these products. They're made in America and they're on the bows of some of the best bow hunters that you've never even heard of because that's the following that they have. Uh, sorry for the short video and uh, kind of unprofessional but I just wanted to share this with you because it's really become important to me and like I said I've kind of become part of this cult following of these products. I really, really love them. We'll see you on the next video.